Hello everybody, welcome back. And here's what happened last Long time. time no see, Astro Express crew. It's Kafka. I'd like you to make a destination alteration. Have you guys heard of the Law Fu? 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Law Fu. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. 4 against 1. Well, it looks like the Astral Express crew has a majority vote to head for the Sien Zhou. Welcome. Lawful Skyport. Heart gift event. Something's not right. The Jade Gate is now opening. Such a huge port and not a soul in sight. Hey, you there? We need your help. <laughs> Marge, no hesitation. Ambassador for the Law Food mm. Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. Our meeting with Madame Yukong won't be without risk. Let me do the talking. Report the losses to General Jing Yuan and find someone from the Divination. Commission. Whoa, this place is cool. Deal with this mess. Greetings, guests from the Astral Express. Ting Yun has informed me Her outfit is giving me Yelan vibes. Normally one of my responsibilities. But since you know about the Stellaron and have stated that you want to help the Law Fu, I thought I should at least meet you in person and politely decline your proposal. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> we'll be on our way then. The Sienjo Alliance knows what a Stellaron is and is more than capable of handling it ourselves. Are you though? We you are guests from afar. There is no reason for this matter to concern you. Am I making myself clear? Crystal. From what we've gathered, the influence of the Stellaron can still be contained. If we can locate it in time and contain it, it's possible that we can restore any space and Except with this game and giving like everyone thigh garners. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's like how everyone has different phone cases. All the girlies have different thigh garners. <laughs> we have experience in preventing Stellaron disasters and we've only come here to lend you that experience. <laughs> Actually, I take that back. Maybe Welt has a thigh garner on too. We just can't see it because he's wearing pants. <laughs> I said this and I'll say it again. This is an internal affair of the Sienjo Alliance, and there is no need for the Astral Express to get involved. Okay, sorry. I decided to arrange a meeting with you as a <laughs> He <of the> does. <laughs> My decision is fine. Does he actually? <laughs> Let me see your legs, Well. Uh. Never mind, Mr. Yang. If the Sienjo Alliance oh. say they can handle it, then we're wasting our breath. Let's go. I'm afraid that's impossible. Oh? Huh? And what's Are we arrested? Mean? Don't say it's we're only arrested. Been a few days since the presence of a Stellaron was detected on the Law Fu. Starskiff Haven has been under full Oh my gosh, his coat. No one has been permitted In the way. Be. This is the only view of his what legs that we've gotten. Know of the incident. <laughs> what led you to conclude that it was linked to a Stellaron? Someone hacked the system and opened the Jade Gate. Her name oh. is Silver Wolf, a member of I the Stellaron see. Hunters. <laughs> You Weird. <laughs> Weird that you say that. Uh, I mean, yeah, technically he does have a thigh guard. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, the Stellaron hunters want to use you to take us out. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, I'm just going to be honest with them. So you yeah, <laughs> I actually really like the color of cells. I wouldn't have picked like the neon bluish to go with the gray and yellow color scheme, but I think it looks very nice. Those thigh guards are sagging. Come on, Walt. Bulking season. Let's go. He has thigh garters too. I love it. <laughs> oh. It's very unlikely that the express. Look at his little eye freckle. I love it. <laughs> we are mortal enemies, after all. Apologies for interrupting your meeting. My name is Jing Yuan. I'm the general of the Cloud Knights on the Law Fu. General, this is an internal affair for the Law Fu. I fully agree with you, Helm Master Yu Kong. This is indeed an internal <laughs> affair. This is a Xianzhou matter, and it is our responsibility to handle it. 
Of course. It would be inappropriate of me to let you return without something to show for it. Oh. While I cannot accept your help with regard to the Stellaron, I do have a favor to ask. Okay. Please, after you. May I ask what the favor? Where is Marge? Wait, <laughs> why is it just the two of us? Where'd she go? A matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. Ah. We captured a member of Estelaron. Yes, indeed. Who goes by the name of Blade, department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has managed mm. to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined. Had <laughs> the express. I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. Yes. The crew of the Love that he's on our side. Honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. Exactly. He gets it. He gets it. <laughs> As such. I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the yeah. Stellar Hunters to sow dissent between us. Probably. Mm. Yeah. We can handle the Stellar off. Sure, they probably have other motives. I'm sure they do. We will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. And it's this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, <laughs> it's the bigger time. the threat she will pose. Since the Stellaron just dot dot dots across <laughs> across the board. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu, with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. I think we only scratched the surface of this general. Do you think there's something strange about I him? Don't know about strange, but mm. my gut tells me something is off. Interesting. That's it. A minor detail, but curious. He avoided talking about Blade. He did. I even asked him about Blade directly, and he Since said he couldn't say anything. Captured a stellar <laughs> Why not use him? Why rely on us? The CN Joe is reluctant to involve outsiders in the Stellaron disaster. So why is it so keen mm -hmm. on letting us capture a Stellaron under? Marge, what are you doing over here? <laughs> I noticed that you didn't join us for that discussion. What do you make of this, Chung Yuan? He's pretty handsome. I'm not about that. <laughs> Although you're not wrong, he's much easier to talk to than that Yukong. Their <laughs> attitudes are so different. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Mm, that okay. I'm almost certain. It isn't their intentions. Ah, oh, we are baits. If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Yin Yuan, did no you way. Let him escape on purpose? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. No. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. Mm. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Sinjo. You are bound to miss Uh oh. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor in the six <laughs> years next I week. like his door knockers on his shoulder. Yes, Those are nice. Yes, yes. <laughs> I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fu Shen. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Sienjo, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. Mm -hmm. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, <laughs> Everything that I touch is our That's kingdom. <laughs> it's the Stellaron. Oh. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Or is it now? Mm. I say we bring those that two is pretty sus. Before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. 
Hey, bestie. Madame Yukong has asked me to look after you. Oh, good. <laughs> Seems like we were destined to be in each other's company. The Skyfaring Commission has reserved rooms for you at the Petrichor Inn. When you finish your business here, how about some tea together? Oh gosh, we're about to go stay in a, yeah, a hotel again. <laughs> I know this probably brings no. bad memories. <sighs> well, here we are. I feel sleepy already. The sun hasn't gone down yet. Oh, what? But we've done a whole day's work. What's the sun <laughs> playing at? It felt like we spent the whole day in the Palace of Astrum. Uh, jokes aside, did you see Madame Yukong frown at us? I thought her guards were about to jump out of nowhere and throw us in jail. Yeah, that wasn't oh, very I reassuring. Monsters in these big <laughs> shots. Madame Yukong doesn't have her merits. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. But I feel like they're not, but that's fine. That it's <laughs> 69 to keep her guard up. The oh. Fu is facing a crisis, and as head of the Sky Faring Commission, she is responsible for the security of the Sienjo's customs and borders. She's actually a very reasonable old girl in private. Old girl? They say that many years ago, Madame Yukong was an ace pilot in the Cloud Knights. Hmm. She was a work hard, play harder type, known for her hot temper and incredible skill. Nice. Eventually, she became the head of the entire commission, which required her Whoa. to learn patience and adopt a meticulous approach to her work. What a cool place. In any case, Madame Yukong instructed me to reserve the best rooms at the inn. No, not the best rooms. <laughs> She wants to extend oh. the full courtesy of the Sienjo so that all of you enjoy your stay to the fullest. She specifically mentioned that if you wish to buy anything at the inn, be it food or otherwise, I'm scared. Let the innkeeper know. The commission March is so on board with this. <laughs> Why don't you go back yourself? What? <laughs> oh my gosh, so sassy. Yes, our hosts are so thoughtful. I guess we should help ourselves. Right, Mr. Yang? Oh, we should focus on our <laughs> objective first. Seeing as Hellmaster Yukong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. Mm. The suspect is extremely cunning. That she, she is. encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, the Divination Commission has managed to find something. Yeah? Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. <laughs> Something in the background. <laughs> Precisely. That's the sound of a device. Uh, what kind of a device? What exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss <laughs> March. To the untrained ear, these noises may Ooh. sound the same. Dragger. For the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The sound came from the shipyard facilities wow. in Stargazer Navalia. Now. <laughs> I like that the hologram is just chilling there with us. I look forward to seeing you in action. <laughs> She's just hanging out. Okay, looking moody as always. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Is it? <laughs> Are you worried about those two? Weld is with them. They should be fine. Himiko. Did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are these Stellaron Hunters trying to do? The Zianjo Alliance aren't us. Say what you have to say. Huh. What is he realizing? <laughs> oh. Do 
you know him? The Sancho is in danger. This man, he... If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. But... Is he... connected to that past you want to escape? I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... Oh no. I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. What? Is there what does that mean? Does carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path <laughs> that is... Barely has us. no burdens. <laughs> the we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem We did that past time. journey in a week, that's it? Pom Pom and I are more than wow. capable of looking after the Express. I was born literally a week ago. Woohoo! <laughs> no burdens. We've got to do. Do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. The only burden that we have is the burden of needing to dig through every trash can. <laughs> and you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? Oh. Oh my gosh. We're John Hung! <laughs> it's not a burden, it's a blessing. True. <laughs> Message failed to send. Oh, wait! <gasps> uh oh. What's Can't going on with our phones? Out. The network is down. But some functions still work? That's weird. Virtually I don't like nothing that. Has changed since I left. Apart from darkness, this place is all that I remember. Yikes! <laughs> that was so close. I'll go find you, folks. Yeehaw! <laughs> Stay where you are. I can handle <gasps> this. Emergency so should be dealt with by professionals. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh? I was gonna say, was did I have any hope in that? Was I supposed to not win there? <laughs> it felt very one-sided. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this little mechanic of not being able to peep any of his information is cool. He's a mysterious man. <laughs> but I won. <laughs> oh. That was intriguing. That he just stepped in and was like, "No, you don't get to know anything I'm about so me." Sorry. <laughs> I was just transferred here from the Yao Ching. I did tell you to let me handle it. I don't have eyes in the back of my head. What if I accidentally hit you? Forgive me, Miss, but you were too oh, busy being Oh my gosh. Yourself. Does, does anyone have ice for that burn? <laughs> This area is under martial law. I'm escorting all civilians to safety. That was some impressive Cloud Knight spearmanship. Which unit are you from? The Astral Express unit. Huh. Okay. You're a civilian then. Come with me. Miss Sushan, she seems to doubt what this. Exactly has transpired here. In all my trade visits, I've never seen Starskiff Haven in such a state. I uh, I can't comment on that. I was just ordered to rescue the civilians. What's your name? I've got forms to fill out. Can't put your name down as blank. Don, Don, Don. My name is Don Hung. <laughs> I'm a traveler. Aren't you going to take my name too, miss? Marty said it when we were busy fighting. La... something. La Cha. Is that right? <laughs> I remember it. Let's go. <laughs> Stay close, you two. 
I'll well, take his name and his number. Your <laughs> oh, and one more thing. I need you to write your names down later. I don't know too many characters. I oh. make a mistake. My name is Sushang. I'm a cloud knight and I never learned how to write. 